Hello Ash, Serena, Bonnie, and Clement. Let me guess, you guys are upset because of your lockers? Yes we are. And how did you know? Well, I saw your lockers destroyed this morning, and I felt bad for them. In the meantime, do you guys want to share my locker with me until your lockers get repaired? You know what? Sure. We will use your locker until our lockers get repaired. Anyways, let's have a sleepover at your house at Friday night. Well, we are just gonna head home. Goodbye Abby Hatcher. See you at Friday night. See you guys at Friday night. I can't wait for mom and dad to hear about this. I'm just gonna head home. Oh hello, Abby. How's school today? And what's with the big smile? I didn't get into any trouble at school. Guess who have I friended with? Don't tell me you friended with another troublemaker. Actually, no. It's Ash, Serena, Bonnie, and Clement. No way. How did you go from worst enemies to best friends? Well, I saw their lockers destroyed by another troublemaker that I don't know, so I offered to share my locker with them. Wow, after all the troubles that you have caused, you actually did something nice for once. You know how ungrounded you are. I also offered to have a sleepover with them in our house at Friday night. If that's so, they may join your sleepover. Now you may head into your room and do whatever you want. So guys, are you ready for our sleepover at my house? We're ready as we are. Anyways, let's go for a big day out after school. Serena, Bonnie, and Clement. That was great. Anyways, what shall we do before we go for a sleepover? Let's go downstairs and watch Allsdale Mountain Mystery. It's streaming on HBO in five minutes. Great idea, Serena. Let's go downstairs before we miss the movie. Wow. Miss Spoon. I still can't believe you got fired. Wait a minute. Have you been sleeping here all day? Wait a minute. Was she sleeping here for the whole weekend? How is she alive? Miss Spoon, are you dead? Wake up! Ouch! What the heck? Miss Spoon, when did you get so strong, and since you were made out of steel? Scarlowy, Linnaeus, Rusty, and Duncan, what are you four doing? Um, Thomas, we're looking at Miss Spoon, but she's not awake yet. Really? Let me and Edward see. Miss Spoon, are you awake? Hey! Wait a minute. This machine records everything. Really? Let me and Scarlo you see what it says. It says, last controlled by, Abby Hatcher. Oh, my freaking god. Abby Hatcher was behind all of this. She made a clue of Miss Spoon to get her fired. Oh my god, that darn Abby Hatcher did this. She's going to pay for this. Come on. Everyone. Let's go and report this to Mr. Louie. Um, Rusty, what should we do with this machine? I don't know. Let's just carry it to Mr. Looney's office. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh my freaking god, this thing is so damn heavy. Oh my god, I don't think I can carry her anymore. Well good morning, Thomas. Edward, Percy, Scarlowy, and Reneas. Where are Rusty and Duncan? Yeah. Where on earth are Rusty and Duncan? Oh my god, I can't carry this damn robot anymore. Um, can someone tell me what just happened there? Just ignore that part. Anyways, we've just found the evidence to prove was not actually Miss Spoon who destroyed Ash. Serena, Bonnie, and Clement's lockers. Oh no, we're not going through this again. 
I don't think you get what we're saying. You want proof? Well look at the pictures at Edward's phone. All right, let me see. But if it's false, you, Edward, Percy, Scarloe, Raniers, Rusty, and Duncan will be suspended for a week. Oh my god, you guys were right the whole time. It was not Miss Spoon who destroyed Ash, Serena, Bonnie, and Clement's lockers. Yeah, me and Duncan were carrying it to your office. And also, Abby Hatcher made a clone out of Miss Spoon too. I'm deeply sorry about this, Thomas, Edward, Percy, Scarloe, Raniers, Rusty, and Duncan. It looks like you guys were right. I'll hire Miss Spoon back for sure. Awesome. And one more thing, you'll punish Abby Hatcher, right? Most definitely. I'll deal with her right now. Attention, Abby Hatcher is to report to my office. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Looney. Abby Hatcher, now listen here. Did you make a clone out of Miss Spoon and destroy Ash, Serena, Bonnie, and Clement's lockers so she can get fired? Tell me the truth right now. All right, as a matter of fact, yes, I'm the one who got Miss Spoon fired. I'm tired of her teaching me boring stuff that is hard to understand. So I got my revenge by getting her fired. I'm really sorry. Abby Hatcher, how dare you do this? You realize you've caused a load of mayhem, and almost got Thomas, Edward, Percy, Scarloe, Raniers, Rusty, and Duncan in some serious trouble. You don't know how much trouble you're in right now. That's it. You are expelled. Go home right now. <laughs> Abby, you stupid troublemaker. How freaking dare you made a clone of Miss Spoon and got her fired by destroying Ash, Serena, Bonnie, and Clement's lockers. This is the worst thing you've ever done. That's so freaking it, young lady. You are so grounded, 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 grounded until Thomas Pokemon Fan 123 gets 600 subscribers. Abby Hatcher, this is a call for you. Thomas Pokemon Fan 123, Ash, and Serena want to speak to you. Stupid asshole Hatcher. How dare you made a clone of Miss Spoon and made her destroyed our lockers to get her fired. That's it. You are so not our friend anymore. And Lex and Miranda. If you two are hearing this, you must pay $1,000 for the damage to my friend's lockers. Abby, how dare you made us pay $1,000 for the damage. That's it. You are now grounded 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 for an additional three weeks. Go upstairs to your room right now. Wah. Uh, uh.